Hey there, ladies and gents. Pops here. Welcome back to Simple Midwest in Farming Simulator 2022. Uh, we are still in August. No, start again. We are not yet in August. We are still in July. So whilst we are still in July, we are going to get these eggs delivered to the um, bakery. where they will be of future use for our cake making. Uh, then we're going to rest and move on a month. And as soon as we get into August, we're going to feed these guys. We're going to fill these with water. Um, just to keep them topped up. So that's our strawberries and eggs taken care of. Uh, then our big jobs for the month of August are going to be... Um, big grass field, another mammoth job which uh, needs to be done so that we can make some money. It's all going to go to silage and be sold. The other grass field, this one up here, we are going to acquire ourselves a tedder and we are going to make hay. Um, the hay we are going to uh, need for our cows. What cows, I hear you cry. Well, that's the thing. In between the two, once we've made the money with the silage, we're going to need to build ourselves in this area here, probably, a cow shed and acquire some cows. Um, we'll need to do that before we do this field, otherwise we've got nowhere to put our hay. But that is the cunning plan. In the meantime, also in August, uh, which I think is going to August is going to be a, two or three episodes. We've also got the uh, sorghum, um, some of which we could probably use uh, as food for the ducks and chickens. Let's just see how much we've got in the way of grain left. Yeah, to be fair, there's probably still a good year's worth of product in there. So we might just sell the sorghum. Again, take the money. And then the other big thing that needs deciding over the next month or two is what do we do with the big huge oat field? Do we plant it up with something else? Uh, uh, what do we do with the sorghum field? So, let's crack on and get on with it. Right, so we've nearly got the eggs loaded. Just get these final three pallets onto the trailer. And then we will get these taken down to the bakery where they can be stored while we suss out our other ingredients. Final pallet. We've got a, a random loose duck. Whoa. Got a random ghost duck. Look. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, we've got a duck that appears to be able to walk through walls. So I can't imagine that the mesh fencing's doing much to contain it. Here it comes again. Oh, through the fence. Round in a circle and through the wall. Spooky. That'll do. Actually, the time it's taken to do them, both of the coops have spawned another 
pallet to start collecting, but that's fine. Let's get this put away. And then we'll get the eggs down to the bakery. Okay, let's just make sure it's all strapped on, which it is. Get these to the bakery, get back to the farm. That will do us for July. We will then look what... Uh, we'll take a look at starting what looks like a mammoth August. We're not going to have much rest on that day. So here we are. At what is now our own, very own bakery. We've become bakers. Let's offload here. Right, I think we may have bakery maxed out the eggs. It only takes 7,000 litres. That's fine. Um, we can sell the rest. Strawberries as well are filling up rapidly. Um, and the bread is coming along so it won't be long before we've got some bread we can sell so for now we need to just have a look see where is going to be the place to sell our eggs uh, we've got the farmers market which is just around the corner or well, the fast food restaurant we're virtually opposite that pizzeria Pizza here. Is that the one right behind us? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's literally across the road. So let's uh, we can pull through this car park, I think. So we've still got 7,100 litres of eggs. So half a load, basically. There we go. Nearly 25,000 for that half load. Fantastic. And our bakery is now full up. Grand. Let's get back. Let's get some sleep. Let's crack on with August. There we go. Welcome to the month of August. If I can get out the door. Don't know why, but I never think to shut the door. There we go. Door's closed. Doggo fed. Right, so, like I say, our first housekeeping jobs, we're going to fill the water up. And we're going to fill these up with grain. Or spooky ducks. It's all a bit weird. Right. Let's get these housekeeping jobs done. Then we can set off with the uh, the big jobs for the month. So just grab the Veltra. I think actually... Uh, most of the vehicles need refuelling. It occurs to me that there might not be a lot of fuel in the combine, which we've already taken up to field 7, so we'll have to watch for that when we get up there. I 
Okay, I will quickly get the watering done and then that's job number one crossed off the list. Right, so we're all done. Let's just need to top off this last one. That is the glass house is watered. So we'll drop that off. Now we just need to make sure. Uh, productions, glass houses. So if we go to the bakery, that is now full of strawberries, so there is nowhere for them to distribute to. So we're going to change those to selling. Strawberries selling, strawberries selling, okay, so we're now selling those again. Okay, so let's get back in there. The last of the couple of housekeeping things to do is to just get the chickens and ducks fed. Actually, there is a tractor attached to a trailer, so we'll use this one. bit of wheat in. Don't think we actually need anywhere near that much but let's uh, fill them up. Then we know they're done. Stop, stop, stop. Housekeeping for the month is done. Strawberries and eggs are taken care of. So we now need to go back to the arduous world of field work. So I think first and foremost, since now we have a trailer attached here, we'll head up to field number seven and we will start that sorghum harvest. So we're up and running. Uh, we weren't wrong with regard to our thoughts on the fuel status of the combine. It is getting quite low. I think I'm happy that it's going to do this uh, to this field, but we are going to need to keep an eye on it. So we're going to leave this 
to do its thing. We'll come back and check on it in a little while. So we've got our first trailer load. Um, take this to the farmer's market. See what sort of money it puts in the bank account for us. Right, let's see what load number one is worth. Pounds and pence. Wow, nearly 39,000. Excellent. Well, we'll get a few of those brought up here. This field's going to earn us a bit of money. Right, so the trailers are on its way back to the sorghum field. In the meantime, I'm just going to pop to the shop because we want... Um, next stage on that sorghum field is probably a mulcher. There's a lot of uh, residue left in the field that needs to be put back into the ground. So we'll go and have a look and see what the options are. Probably just to hire something. We don't need to be buying it, I don't think. Let's have a look. Okay. Right. Um, wow, mulchers. do something with a fairly decent size if we're only going to hire. Although it's only 1850 to buy that one. That'd take forever. Okay. Right, we're going to We're going to lease this. I'll take this up to the sorghum field. And then we can start prepping the ground for whatever it is we're going to do with it once it's all harvested. Okay, let's get this prepped and set up.
There we go. It's prepping the field. I'm going to put a worker on that. I just need to go and jump in the trailer. Get the next load off the combine so that can keep going. Jump out of here. Get this emptied, then we can send that combine on its way again. There he goes. It's about going up down the field. You can see the speed the uh, mulch is going. That's going to uh, catch up with us fairly quickly. And there we have it, the sorghum is all harvested. We'll set the combine back. Um, the mulcher is not far behind us. In the trailer here we've got about half a trailer load. Uh, which would have meant, yeah just under, which would have meant we'll have had Two and a half trailers at nearly 40,000 each. It's roughly 100,000, not quite, but roughly 100,000 pounds worth of product off the field, which is good. We'll get this up to the farmer's market. We'll get the combine back to the farm. We'll let the mulcher finish doing its thing. And then we'll just need to have a chat about what we're going to do going forward. Right, final load. See what it's worth, and then we'll know what we've taken off the field in total. Nineteen. So thirty-nine, thirty-nine, nineteen. So three grand short of a hundred thousand. Not bad. The only problem is that's taken whatever seven or eight months to get to that stage. If we'd have had a grass field, would have probably taken three crops off it at two hundred thousand each. That field would have made us probably half a million. So other crops just don't stand up to the whole grass thing. We do also need to talk about this big oat field, which we will do in a moment before we say goodbye. But yeah, that is going to be our next topic of conversation. Mulch is also finished now, so we're going to send this on its way back to the dealer. This is on lease, so this can go straight back. We don't need that again for the moment. So we'll just wait for this John Deere to come back to the farmyard. We'll get everything cleaned up while we have a chat about what we're going to do next. The combine's nearly back. So I'm thinking the first thing we need to do with this probably is fuel it up the combine and the New Holland uh, which is waiting to be cleaned there both are in need of repair as well which unfortunately is going to cost us absolute fortune but we are about to find out while that's doing that let's just give this a quick 
spray down. And then we'll get the trailer parked up and the new Holland into the workshop for repair. Don't think anything is in particularly bad condition here, dirt wise. Uh, I think it'll stay relatively clean, that'll do. Let's get these uh, suitably parked up. Okay, let's see how much of this is going to cost us. <coughs> £12,333 and again it has no paint condition left maybe treat it to a, a paint job at some point in the future how it can lose all of its paint condition in 18.7 hours I don't know but it has right Let's get these combines sorted. So this does look like it's been through the walls a bit and in need of a bit of TLC. So we we'll get the header done first. This bad boy definitely needs washing down. Lovely jubbly. It's not quite done. There we go. Right. Let's get them parked up. Right, okay. Got ourselves stuck in the corner a bit here. Let's just tab out. Right. Just shut this door. Okay, so here's the thing and the closing shot before we say goodbye today. Um, when we come back next episode, the first thing we will be doing is uh, going to the big grass field and we will do a usual silage run. So that will be mowing, windrowing, forage wagging uh, into the fermenter here and then um, sales um, I, I will make you sit through very little of that because that is just going to be a long old grind um, once we've done that we then need to start the conversation uh, probably in the following episode about cows milk butter what we're going to need for cows so that's probably going to involve the other grass field over there however in the meantime We now have a situation where we own Grassfield, which we're about to turn into silage. Grassfield, which we want to turn into hay. Sorghum field, which has now been harvested and is now effectively no longer a sorghum field. It's just an empty field. It's been mulched. It can be planted. Whatever. So we need to decide what it is we're going to put in there and we have field number one my thoughts are for field number one is that this field is too big uh, and what I would like to do is sell it and then maybe buy a couple of smaller fields one of which is going to be sugar beet um, now we could cheat Excuse me, go back in again. Because field number nine here 
as you can see, is sugar beet. And it's currently, we're in, just confirm that, yeah, we're in August. So we are here. That sugar beet field is going to be ready in two months time. We could buy that field. Somebody else has done all the hard work. We could take the sugar beet, buy the sugar mill, and that will solve our sugar issue. However, it does feel a little bit too much like we're cheating the system. Um, the problem is we can't plant any sugar beet or sugar cane till next March, April time, which we won't be able to harvest till October next year, so another 14 months. But I think that is pretty much what we're going to have to do. We haven't really got a choice in the matter. But on much smaller fields, my feeling is to go sugar beet on a smaller field. Something that's the size of 13 as opposed to the size of 1. <clears throat> so the question is, in the month of August, what do we plant in 1? and seven so in seven we could plant canola or we could wait till next month and plant wheat or barley everything else is sort of spring planting the only problem with doing that is if we do plant We're not going to be harvesting these crops again until after this planting season's over. So do we just actually leave these fields alone? Either way, I think I've made a decision. We are going to sell. Number one. Sell. Because it's worth an absolute fortune. And it's just too big for us. So, suddenly we've got 1.1 million. We need to now have a think about a couple of smaller fields to buy and what we might need them for right we'll come back in a second okay so just taking the Valtra out here it's just come out of the farm it's our, our grass field which is ready to go And I'm thinking this field here, 18. This might be a purchase. It's still quite a big field, but it's not massive like number one. It's a wheat field. It is ready to harvest, so we can be bit cheeky buy it with full crop on it that will give us grain for the birds for the ducks and the chickens we can put some grain into the grain mill sell some if we have to um, this would also be a source of straw which we can sell But what we might do in the meantime is start the whole cow shed thing going. So some of the straw can come off here and go straight into the cow sheds. So, yeah, that is what we're going to do. We are going to purchase number 18 for 400,000. Keeps it local as well. So for our August jobs we now have silage from there, hay from there, build a cow shed, wheat, harvested, 
straw collected. We've still got a lot to do in August, but that is all for another day. Thank you very much for sticking with me and getting this far. Be good, stay safe, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you.